Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a foggy 60 degree Wednesday, the 4th of September. It's supposed to be 90, I think around 90 degrees here, about 95 in Vancouver. Tomorrow, Vancouver is supposed to be 102. Getting all kinds of heat warnings and all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> but it's very pleasing and quiet this morning. Even the swallows. Look, there's not so many of them out here. But that slows down as the summer comes waning to an end. I wonder where they all go in the wintertime because they're all gone. But they all come right back. Anyway, let's go roll off to work. Hot diggity. 69 and not a cloud in the sky, Mama. I know, it's all blue here. She's going to be a, foggy, it's gonna be a hot one here today. Yeah, she's going to be warm. My watch says says 93. I think it said 94 earlier. Yeah. Whereas it'll probably be 95 or better. Anything over <laughs> Oh, they've been pretty accurate hot. here lately. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, the 102 tomorrow is going to be the smoker. Yeah, that's going to be a warm Yeah, 95, 102. <laughs> Once it gets... In the mid 90s, it's just plain hot. Yep. Well, Mama. Yes, I hope. Have yourself a wonderful hump day. You too. And I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. So, this young patrolman, he uh, says that his oil light keeps coming on. And, um, yeah, BMWs, when the oil level is that low, you're definitely gonna definitely get an oil light on this thing. We're doing a, a pretty basic service. It's a 4,200 mile. I got to check. It's just, it's, it's not a big service at all. And um, anyway, part of it is oil and filter change. And uh, we'll rectify his little oil light coming on. Once they start getting towards the bottom of the little red ring in the viewing window, they'll uh, they'll start kicking that, that light off. They'll do that. Other than that, she's in great shape. I didn't pay attention to mileage on it. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's been been thrashed on much. It doesn't even look like it's been down. That's pretty good. With all the... Oh, he's been riding it fast enough. He's scraping the curb feelers off of the foot pegs. Oh, yeah, buddy. He's getting down with it. Yeah, look at that. Well, got one little scratch there. But that'll happen. I mean, the crazy stuff these guys go through, that is going to happen. Them boys have some skills on these things. But let me let me get her done here. That's my, my first job of the day. Actually, my first was working on that demo. Or not demo, but a trade-in spider. Needs both the seat shock and the rear trunk shock. And the uh, the lock for the lid. There's a little brass piece that's in there that... Is literally sheared in half. That makes the lock click in. Stay, oh, there it is right there. I don't know if I can make that show up in the screen or not. But yeah, that's half of the piece that it needs. And I don't think you can buy the individual pieces. You can take it apart. It just needs a, another one. It's kind of tricky how you get into it without taking the whole spider apart. But you can do it, you know, taking the speakers out there's a, some clips back in there in this rubber boot that you got to get out it's kind of tricky and um i damaged one toss it i've got some more of these it's these weird little flat clips them weird things but yeah you can get them out the real tricky thing is is on the other side getting the two screws them two guys there that hold that and not drop them stuff a towel or something underneath there because you will drop them because you're going upside down and it's kind of it's kind of janky how it's in there but hey let's get back to this thing here look at the tires on that thing look brand new almost got tires here recently all right if someone tells you that previous accessories such as handlebars and stuff like that do not work on 2024s you need to heed that warning. And somehow or another, this is our fault, even though you can clearly see why well, I, I can tell when somebody's been in something. 
and uh, it's very clear there's even screws missing inside there so uh, yeah if someone tells you that maybe you should listen to them because uh, that could be rather expensive and uh, somehow or another I think it's uh, trying to be blamed on us we didn't take did not take that throttle apart we know better we know that stuff doesn't fit and there's a special way that comes apart so anyway got a couple of extra parts for that police bike's done didn't record my ride it's just been one of those days that <laughs> been too busy to mess around with the vlog but it's time to go so i'm gonna clock out and uh roll out Had a few minutes left in the day. Thought I'd bring out the old Red Cat Marksman for a little fun in the afternoon sun, what's left of it. <laughs> Haven't driven this thing in a coon's age. All I remember is it doesn't turn very good, which is kind of what I inadvertently did to Kelly's Gen 7. Whoa. Don't forget how wide it is. Come on, back up. I don't want to I think I still got a hold of that tire. See if I can make it drop off. There it goes. <laughs> I've got this thing's wide. So used to using all the small stuff. <laughs> Out here in the my weeds that need to be cut badly. There's a little bit of lawn out there, but not much. This is a fun truck to drive. It's just kind of limited with its steering, but you can get around stuff like that. She got a little get up and go. That Fusion Pro in there. Oh, I got a wrong line just right out of the gate. I bury that rear diff into that rock. Come on up here. Let's see if we can. See if we can make this work. <laughs> it's, one way, it's one way to get her to leap, huh? <laughs> Gotta watch him few fusion bros. They have a whole lot of torque. A massive my ooh, fender scraping over there. It's just something. Something about this thing is just very graceful. Oh, that's right, I forgot to put them canyon trails on this thing. For a OEM tire, they sure do work good. It's funny, we're getting more bugs here lately than we have all summer. It's like they're all going, well, the season's coming to an end. We need to get out here and uh, cause some havoc. That's crazy about that 24 RT, huh? Man, I tell people, if you don't know what you're doing, don't be messing around with that stuff. Even after, you know, we said that you just got the, I don't forget if the bars weren't available yet or something. Just got impatient and decided they're gonna try to use their uh, old bars on there or something to that effect because all the wires were pulled down if they were trying to put a riser on there and something just went really wrong. I just don't know. But look at that, I caught that tire again. See if I can get her to drop. She's gonna have to drop at some point. But yeah, I haven't looked to see if you can get that in a, in pieces or or what the deal is, I, I just don't know. It came in at the end of the day. Kind of bad. You know, especially, you know, you got the end of the season. Is that is that thing even going to be available? Who knows? You know, they're probably using all their resources building the 2025s to get them all pushed out. You know, the either end of the year, first part uses, first part of the year, but I don't know. I just don't know. Come here, you big old goat. Did put the fusion, yeah, fusion pro. 
such a well thought out, well designed thing, but how you made the mistake with the steering, it just kind of kind of baffles my mind. I mean, it's not horrible, but it is it is limiting, especially for a crawler. And you know, different people have done mods. I've kind of copied some of them, and um, it just it just is what it is. But you know, you're just one of those trucks. You know, it has those limitations or whatever. And you just you drive it that way. I like that green. She's a good looking truck. She's pretty. It's one of those love and glad that these things even work on, on these radios. Yeah, this one's the a little bit newer than the other ones, I think. I don't know, maybe it's the same one. Seems like it was different. I need to put on put one of these on the Gen 7 too, because I had a hard time getting my hand holding the radio just right to make that work when I had it out here last time. Because I'm doing some trailing. <laughs> Very aggressive brakes. Especially when you have, you know, all four wheels hitting the brakes all at once, all the time. It's funny, you, you can set the the brake up so tight that it'll do stoppies. Look at that, I made it through there without riding the wheel up on the edge. Can we manage to tip this thing over? Actually, I don't know if I've ever even tipped this thing over before. It's pretty, pretty robust and wide. It doesn't do weird things very easily. Big old military jet up there. That's cool. My daughter in Tacoma, the military jets take off right above her apartment. It's crazy. It looks like it has an actual winch on there, but if you if you pay attention, it's just a fake winch. It has a little, you know, the little lead on there. It's just this piece of tape so I see the hero GoPro hero 13 um, black got announced today along with another version of that of that real small light one I forget what they call that I think it's just called the hero or something like that but um yeah I'm not that's great for like an extra camera somewhere it's super light but it only has an internal battery so doesn't have a swappable battery but I'm sure there's some good use cases for it I just want the regular camera I'm not worried about the the size and all that stuff if I want something super small I'll use one of the insta 360 goes or something like that to sneak into some place real small anyway I haven't looked I just briefly looked at it at work I was too busy one of the uh uh, young guys that was part of the the Grom crowd up there. There's a whole herd of them they got. But um, he's a young guy, and uh, he just bought a 2025 Grom, a, a white and black, well, basically white um, version, just like Kelly's. But the bodywork's changed a little bit on it. But anyway, he goes, what do you think of the Hero 13? I go, I'm like thinking Hero 13. I go, whoa. The current one is 12. I go, that thing's out? He goes, yeah, just they just released it. So I gave it a brief look. Sure, it's more powerful and does whatever. Looks like the, uh, the one thing that caught my attention is they uh, supposedly improved the uh, onboard mics, which has been kind of a questionable thing with GoPros. I, um, I'm always plugged in with something. Every time I use the outboard mics, I, I just get weird effects out of it. Unless you're pointing the camera right at you, or you put the camera literally right up to your mouth, almost. Um, you get good sound out of them then, but 
I, I've got different mics I use on them. But uh, I'll be checking that out tonight. Doing some research. But anyway, I'm going to start here and play here for a few minutes. And a uh, little woman and I will, <coughs> excuse me, get out here and do a do a goodbye. And see if I can chase a dog or two around out here. It looks like they're all hiding from me. They're all laying down. But um, anyway, look forward to that here in a moment. Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Man, so some dude from down the street come walking by and is freaking out about the dogs. The only dog that was out there is Danny. Danny was just walking along there. I don't know why the guy was freaking out. Maybe just Danny Tried looked scared or something. something. Where are you going? That's a long walk yeah. down that road. And you don't live here. Yeah, so I don't know. It's almost like there's some kind of commune going on down there. I don't know. No, Go we, figure it out. We we wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some sketchy stuff goes on in all hours of the night and morning. Yeah. It's crazy. I see things moving out. And junk cars being hauled in. Junk cars being hauled out. Just absolute insanity down there. I don't know what's going on. But uh, Our peace and quiet. Yeah. Is no longer. Yeah. And sometimes cars come through here like 50, 60 miles an hour yeah. down that road. In a Abbey and Madison, they're old they and move. slow. Yeah, they can't move very fast. Yeah, crazy. Who knows? Just jump on a bike and take a ride down there and say, what's up? Yeah. But as soon as you get to that one corner, it's private property, so. Yeah. So, what am I going to do? Seen the police come down there a few times, too. But anyway, I think we're going to roll at that. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. <laughs> Bye.